hi welcome now i am going to show you how to use the uh, ms access database tables and uh, create a pivot table on the excel worksheet uh, okay so what i have is the brand new worksheet here and uh, what i am going to do is i am going to bring the data from the ms access database tables okay and uh, create a pivot table here and do the analysis uh, okay what i am go going to do is insert uh, pivot table okay so uh, in the pivot table you have uh, option to select the table or range okay the table name or the range okay we don't have a data in the worksheet we are going to bring it from the um, uh, from the ms access database okay so what i am going to do use an external data source okay in the use external data source what i'm going to do choose connection in the connection what i'm going to do there uh, i have already i created a connection here adventure works uh, but what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new connection just to browse for more so i'm going to the my okay this is the database i have the database mdb database files are there okay these files uh, you can see here you can select uh, the files all data sources can be the mdb and dot uh, ecdb okay so what i have this is the access database uh, access database file and i select this okay double click then what it does is that it shows me to select the tables so this are all the tables available in the uh, database and i am selecting uh, only the re human resource employee probably i will also select uh, something uh, some okay production document production location something person contact okay you can also select uh, two multiple tables here more than uh, one by enable the multiple tables if you enable multiple tables it will create uh, different um, pivot tables in uh, different uh, sheets okay i will just show i just employee i select as well as uh, some person country region okay two tables okay what happens okay then uh, choose where you want the pivot table report to be placed i want the pivot table report to be placed in a new worksheet or existing worksheet also can okay press ok see what is happening okay it will take some time because it's connecting to the database files and it brings the data so just wait for a few minutes it is retrieving data see here in the status bar you can see retrieving data okay now it is uh, already we have the tables okay so since it's a uh, same uh, worksheet you put it both the fields are coming here it popped up with the pivot table field span as well as the report place okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just select the uh, pivot table from the employee id employee and uh, the maybe the title okay not uh, the title probably i will select the uh okay, sick leave hours or something okay so you can see the pivot table is created here using the ms access database table which is human resource employee okay so you can also use the different table okay so in this table i have a name okay okay why this is allowing me to you see why this is allowing me to create from the different tables because it's a database so it assumes that uh, there is a relationship with between these two tables uh, okay so if you if you check uh, it will say relationship between tables may be needed 
okay either you can auto detect or you can create okay you can create the columns to connect okay if uh, otherwise it will auto detect okay so no relationship is found so you need to before you connect <coughs> you must create the relationship otherwise what will happen it will do the quotation product here okay so i just remove this and uh, you have uh, related tables you can bring it and uh, build the relationship and uh, use it on a single table okay so this way you can bring the ms access database tables into your worksheet and work on that you you can go here and uh, click right click and refresh the table to refresh the data and fetch the data from the ms access database table the original table okay whenever it is updated you can refresh and uh, directly fetch the data from there okay hope uh, this video is helpful to you and uh, if you like my videos please uh, subscribe to my channel which uh, the alan sum button is already shown in the uh, in the screen itself and uh, god bless you